Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is is The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, Kat. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> How you doing this week? Doing all right. Doing mm-hmm. good, doing good. How'd your weekend go here? You oh, know? you know, I had a busy one. I was up in Coos Bay uh, doing a fundraiser for Southern Oregon Coast Pride, so I got to run around in my best Persephone drag and <laughs> collect tips for the uh, <laughs> right for on. the pros from Boise, and we raised some good money for a good cause. And, oh, right on. Yeah. Oh, it was so cool. Yeah, no, no, it was great. I guess they said the Egyptian theater, they hadn't seen it that packed in a very long time. So it was like 200 plus people there. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Not yeah. much publicity, though, because I didn't see anything about it, really. Well, you know, they kept it like kind of central to Coos this year. Oh, they did. Um, okay. I just, okay. I knew about it because I do quite a bit of volunteering for them, but they wanted to just like test the waters and okay. see how it goes. And now they're like, oh, well, we are definitely expanding it for next year. Oh, yeah. Okay, groovy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just to see how it was <laughs> received. Bet. And apparently, it was received well. So Yeah, that's good. great. It's that's great. Good. Oh, I was asking you about that. Mm-hmm. I mean how that was you know, how that went and you mm-hmm. were like, Yeah, it was good. Yeah, so well, Super good. awesome. Do I have like high heel blisters? Yes, yes I do. Yes, but you, you know, do. I'll recover and I'll be back running very soon, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just trying to try. It's like mm-hmm. Kat's been talking about her run, uh running and everything and doing the marathon and all that good stuff. Uh the runs, the K's or whatever the heck. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. The five K's. Yeah, yeah, the one she's been doing and everything and I forgot uh, Mentioned that I started back on the gym. I was just telling her that I started back up at the gym when Junior started school again. Uh, what I do is <laughs> that way I just go directly, drop him off, go directly to the gym. Don't pass go. Don't collect 200. Don't go home first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my secret is just go straight to the gym and hit it, mm-hmm. you know. And that's what I've been doing for the last day. Yeah, like, oh, almost month and a half now and everything. I'm feeling good. Feeling really good. You know, it's it's great to be back mm-hmm. at I mean, like I was telling you, I did it for since I was 18. I've always worked out, you know, and everything. I was mm-hmm. in martial arts for 15 years. I'm used to weights is what I really like is weights mm-hmm. and everything. And uh, towards the end, and I worked out at South Coast Fitness. Then it changed to Ironside Fitness for nine years. I was there straight on, faithful, four mm-hmm. days a week and everything. And I got to using some of the machines, and I got respect for, like, the stepper, you know, the big step thing, like mm-hmm. climbing the stairs, thing, oh, that, stair that big, mm-hmm. big, the, the official one. And then the treadmills and stuff like that. Like I said, I always do the warm up before I mm-hmm. pump out and everything like that. But yeah, getting used to all the equipment in there and everything. But it's like feeling good, you know? I mean, right. I, you know, six, I'm going to be 62 this year pretty soon in a couple months. And it's mm-hmm. like I'm not feeling it at all. You know, raising junior and everything is keeping me there. Uh, mm-hmm. And I, I don't, I didn't mention it nothing, but I, uh, I've been doing balance of nature. For the mm-hmm. last like six months or something like that, seven months, and that's oh, yeah. awesome, really cool. Yeah, well, I've always done vitamins and taking care care of myself in that way, but I started doing that one, and then I did a uh, one that uh, Chuck Norris endorses, and it's the Morning Kick, is what it's called, mm. and it's got some yeah, got some greens in it and some uh, probiotics mm-hmm. and, and just really good stuff, you know. And mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. wash. What is it? Wash Ganda, Aganda, yes, Wash Aganda or whatever that kind of stuff is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, okay. I wash. I'll wash the Gonda or something like that. Yeah, it's supposed to be good. It's a longevity. It's a, something oh. for the body. You know, he's 80 years old and he's mm-hmm. still rocking. He's still And he's like Morrison. swearing on this stuff and everything <laughs> like that, you know. And it's like, I've been using that too. And yeah, I like it. It's really, it's working good stuff. It's oh, been cool, working, cool. working good. So yeah, taking care of yourself and doing that. I'll be... I'll be running that kid down for quite a while if I keep doing it right. You can't outrun me. (laughs) You can't outrun me, you little bugger. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I just got back from there this morning, started off this weekend and everything. This weekend we just hung out. It was cool, you know. Mm. Yeah, I just uh, really didn't do nothing. Just took it easy and watched some sports and all that good stuff. Uh, It's paper week, so. Mm -hmm. I'm all over that, so I did a bunch of that. But, yeah, yeah, I just kind of relaxed a little bit and everything. Yeah, yeah. Doing the gym makes me relax easier. That that's for sure. <laughs> Isn't it great how that works out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But mm-hmm. I hope you all got out there and did something. And I'm telling you, when I was looking for stuff for this month, we were just talking about it. Holy Toledo, man! I mean, there's still a lot of things going on that right. we can talk about it's here. Coming Halloween up. season. It's it's yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's big time. So hope you all got out there and did something and had some fun. And uh, yeah, there's more things to come. We'll be getting on that real quick. Before we do, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary. The Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows you can find at KCIW, well, you just go to KCIW.org and you will be on your merry way. 
Hey, let's get that music schedule going here. Yeah, let's Watch round out the here. month here. So yeah. Cisco and Daltrey are playing on the 19th at the Checo Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And then on the 25th, they'll be at Seaview Senior Living from 4 to 6. Yeah, and the Tony Land Band is playing on the 28th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. And Mike Powell is playing on the 27th and the 28th at Elk Valley Casino. That's from 7.30 to 10.30. Yep, and Disturbing the Peace, they're going to be playing out of town here on the 28th. But if you're a fan and you want to catch them, you can catch them at the Moose Lodge in McC- McKinleyville, California from 7 p.m. to 11. So there you mm-hmm. go. And then the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 20th and the 21st at Elk Valley Casino and music for that one starts at 7. Mm-hmm. And the Italian guys are going to be playing on the 27th at the Tortuga Mexican Restaurant at 6 p.m. in Gold Beach. And then on the 28th, they'll be down in Crescent City at the end of Tech at 7. All right. And Ranch Party is playing on the 27th at Kuntai. Music there running from 6 to 8. Yep, and Danielle and Ohana will be playing on the 21st at Abigail's, noon to 2 p.m. Yeah. yeah, and we have a lineup of Elk Valley Casino events. First up at the Betty Green Center on the 21st, it's Seven Summers, a Morgan Wallen tribute that starts at 8 o'clock. Then on the 28th, they've got Cosmic Bingo. The time for that is to be determined still, it says. And then at the Warriors Bar and Grill on the 20th and the 21st, again, it'll be the Mighty Steelheads playing at 7 And on the 27th and 28th, again, Mike Powell playing from 7.30 to 10.30. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know who uh, Morgan Wallen is by any chance? I believe that's a country singer. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure about Mm -hmm. that. And when I said it, I was like, I meant to Google it and see who he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, in Ateca on the 21st, the Frog Bite Band, yeah, at 8 p.m. And then on the 28th, the Italian guys at 8. And then Misty Mountain Brewing has some music this month. On the 20th, it's David Clark. And then on the 28th, there's not going to be music, but it's going to be their anniversary slash Halloween party. So coming up on the 28th. Yeah, pretty good little timing for the for the anniversary. No That's kidding. Cool. <laughs> yeah, and Checo Brewing Company on the 20th, they'll have Jazz 101 at 6. And then on the 27th, they'll have Jeff Brozier at 6 p.m. There you go. And right. that is it on the music. Okay, well, we've got plenty of events still happening at the Checo Library in Brookings. And coming up on Saturday, the 21st, happening all day, it's their 30th anniversary celebration. So the Checo Library building turned 30 this year. They're inviting everyone to drop in for a free ice cream social, some live music by the Rowdy Creek String Band. That's happening from noon to one. And there's going to be all day a huge display of historical library memorabilia. Everyone is welcome to come celebrate. And then they're going to be having a Creating Gore on stage. This is a hands-on workshop. This is happening Tuesday. The 24th of October, it's going to be at 4 p.m. You can join theater nerds Kat, Michaela, and Jason to learn how to make cool practical effects with stage blood, makeup, and sound effects. This is all just in time for Halloween. Gloves and aprons will be provided, but they strongly recommend wearing clothes that you don't mind getting stained. We will be using fake blood. And then they're going to be having a Book Arts with Tori workshop. This is happening on Wednesday, the 25th. That's at 1 o'clock. Everyone's invited to a free hands-on crafting workshop in which local artist Tori Bowen demonstrates how to make handcrafted books and journals. This month's theme is Dia de los Muertos, otherwise known as Day of the Dead. And then at the end of the month, they're starting a Dungeons and Dragons workshop for beginners. There's two workshop options for you to choose from. This is Saturday, October 28th or Saturday, November 4th at 3 o'clock. You can join Library Intern D to learn about character creation and the basic mechanics of Dungeons and Dragons in a welcoming, beginner-friendly environment. And if you have any questions about events or programs happening at the Checo Community Public Library, you can always follow them for updates on their Facebook page. You can check out their events calendar at checolibrary.org, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. Yes, indeedy. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about that class you're going to do with the uh-huh. make, and making the... The blood and the gore and all that, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Cool Me and Jason, we're, we're realizing just how many, like, really kind of gory shows we've done in the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Beth is making skin. Mm-hmm. You know, the skin to be hanging up at the haunted house mm-hmm. and stuff, dead skin. And I'm like, going, interesting. Yeah, latex and, uh, you know, mm-hmm. rags and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool stuff. Yeah, it's like... Looks pretty realistic, that's for All sure. Right. <laughs> <Good stuff. laughs> I gave her a couple ideas myself, too. So. Good, good. We like collaboration <laughs> yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, the Fred Enrich Municipal Pool and City of Crescent City is presenting a Monster Splash, Monster Splash, I like that, Halloween Carnival, located at Play Street in Crescent City on the 21st. Come in costume for carnival games outside the pool facility, then join them for a recreation swim inside. The time for the games is 
for 12 and under 3 to 5 p.m. And then time for the recreational swim is open for youth and attending adults with kids 10 and under at 3 to 6 p.m. There will be a limit of 70 people at a time for this swim. Please note that the swim portion swimmers will be asked to wear regular swim gear. Okay, no, no costumes in the pool. Kids 10 and under that cannot pass the swim test must have an adult in the water with them. And kids 10 and under that can pass the swim test must have an adult in the facility with them. So that makes good sense. No registration or fees required for this event. In the event of a rain, games will be moved to the pool deck and they will still have a great time inside. They said location is at the South Pool parking lot. Parking will be available on the street near Kids Town and the North parking lot. Mm. So if you're from that area, you know exactly what I was just talking about. Yeah, yeah. well, and I like I'd have to go down and the, figure uh, it out. Down there too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to figure it out myself, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds right. like good directions. Hey, Blossoms by Abigail is having a ribbon cutting. It's a grand opening ceremony happening at 519 Checo Avenue, Unit 7 in Brookings. This is going to be on the 21st of October from 4 to 9 p.m. You can join them in celebrating the grand opening of a new business in Brookings, Blossoms by Abigail. There will be light bites, drinks, and lots of fun. Yeah. And hey, the Lucky 7 Casino is presenting House of Horrors theme night on the 20th, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., Join them at Lucky Sevens Casinos Club Sports Bar. Dress for screams and you get some free play at the cashier's cage. Dare to try one of the drink specials and enjoy special guest DJ Dotov playing all your favorite spooky dance hits. Plus, for all you early birds, happy hour is extended till 9 p.m. Invite your friends for some spooktacular fun, fun, fun. Oh, no face masks are allowed. Mm, uh, Okay. And the Checo Pelican players are presenting the 20th anniversary Haunted House event. This year's theme is Slasher Street. It's happening at the Shopping Center in Harbor. That's 97900 Shopping Center Avenue. And it's the building right above the DMV. Opening night for that event is the 20th of October. It'll be running on the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. And the hours for that are 7 to 10 p.m. Yep, some spooktacular fun there, too. Yeah, it's going to be kind of scary. Yeah, Curry Health Foundation Golf 4 Health Tournament at Salmon Run Golf Course will be happening on the 21st. They say, hello, golfers. Curry Health Foundation excited to host their third annual Golf 4 Health Tournament at beautiful Salmon Run Golf Course. Proceeds raised by the tournament will help support local nonprofit projects targeting health and wellness needs in Curry County. This year's tournament will include an on-course contest with the prizes for the winners and a great raffle opportunity to participate in. The entry fee is $100 per player, and the format is Best Ball Scramble. Included in the entry fee is a continental breakfast and a fabulous post-game barbecue provided again this year by courtesy of Larry Weston. So all you golfers out there, pull together a team or sign up a single player, and they'll match you up with others. The registration is at 8 a.m., and the shotgun is at 9 a.m. You can sign up. On the internet, go to www.currieheathfoundation.com, or you can register by phone by calling 408-242-9503, that's Eleanor, or 541-247-3198, that's office messaging. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. And then the Friends of Music are presenting Quartetto Latin Americano at the Seventh Day Adventist Church. That's at 102 Park Avenue in Brookings. This is happening on the 22nd of October at 3 p.m., Join them for the next performance in the 2022-23 Friends of Music Concert Series. Quartetto Lato Americano is one of the world's most renowned string quartets and, for 40 years, the leading proponent of Latin American music for the genre. Founded in Mexico in 1982, the quartetto has toured extensively throughout Europe, North and South America, Israel, China, Japan, and New Zealand. Admission is just $20. Students 18 and under always get in for free. Tickets are available for purchase at the door, online, at Wright's Custom Art and Framing in Brookings, or at Del Nor Office Supply in Crescent City. For more information, you can send an email to info at ppadelnort.org. And hey, now it's time for Quotes from Famous People with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from comedian actor Chevy Chase. He was born October 8, 1943. He says, what's funny is funny. The same thing that made you laugh a hundred years ago makes you laugh now. He goes, the best advice I can give you about falling is to never land. <laughs> He's a prat fall guy. <laughs> he said, my father was the funniest guy I ever met. I'm not sure if I stole his stuff or if I inherited it. And then last but not least, he says, parrots make great pets. They have more personality than goldfish. 
<laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Chevy Chase with Cousin Bruce. Until next week, have a great one. Yeah, yeah I like that one. Yeah. Didn't you ever want a, te- a pet that could talk back? Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's yeah. Fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, to talk back. Makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. And the Manly Arts Center this month is featuring the works of Elizabeth Roberts. Ten years ago, artist Elizabeth Roberts volunteered for a marine debris cleanup expedition that would forever change her life. While picking up litter in the Gulf of Alaska, she became horrified by how much trash, 80,000 pounds of mostly non-biodegradable toxic plastics, was accumulating on this remote, uninhabited island. She learned from research scientists, as she witnessed firsthand, how the long-term consequences of our reliance on plastic and the chemicals they're made from was absolutely destroying the marine ecosystem. What started as an exciting summer adventure developed into a committed crusade to use her skills as an artist to educate people about the devastating impacts of plastic pollution in our aquatic environments. Elizabeth Roberts' show will run for the entire month of October. Again, this is happening at the Manly Arts Center. They're located at 433 Oak Street in Brookings. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I always clip the, uh, when you get the things with the plastic, you know, yeah, things clip on your rings. cups and cans, you clip them off. Mm-hmm. Cut them all apart and everything. I got, I've seen a couple of people do it. I thought I was the only one. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I do that too, you know, just mm-hmm. because, you know, you don't never know where it's going after it leaves your house. So mm-hmm. if it hits the water, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Mm-hmm. That's the way I look at it. Okay. Open houses for our regular and spooky home tours. Yeah, Ron Real is doing something here at Premier Ocean Properties. He's got an open house slash costume contest going mm-hmm. on. They got a couple dates here. On Saturday, October 28th from 12 to 3, it's traditional four house open houses. And then on Tuesday, October 31st on Halloween from three to five, it's the original spooky open houses. Agents and guests to be in costume on October 31st. So each open house will give a prize, a gift certificate for a black trumpet bistro. And each person who attends each open house will receive a $20 gift certificate for grocery outlet there. So there you go. Hmm. And uh, so, the addresses for both days are 913 Helen Lane, 823 Ransom Avenue, 9825 Tuttle Lane, and then 15994 Hannon Lane. And it's kind of different. I've never seen a real estate anybody do this. Costume you know, and Yeah, they're doing house. a costume contest and open house. Mm-hmm. And like I said, if there will be a winner for the best costume at each house. Okay. And if you attend all of them, then you get a prize as well. So bam, bam, bam. Man, yeah. Win, win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So there you go. So that'll be happening, like I said, on October 28th from noon to 3 and October 31st from 3 to 5. And if you want a map to the houses, you just go by Premier Ocean Properties there and, and mm-hmm. get one there from Ron's place there. And Definitely. They'll hook you up. So. All right. Well, the Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce is having a chamber mixer at Checo Medical and Aesthetics. This is on the 26th of October at 7 p.m., You can join them and celebrate with another chamber mixer. Local business owners and community leaders will be networking and taking tours. There are going to be raffle prizes and refreshments for all to enjoy. And if you need help finding that, they're located at 97825 Shopping Center Avenue in Harbor. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right, good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know... That a man destroyed a temple in order to become famous? It's true. And here's the story. Following the destruction of the original temple at Ephesus by flooding in 7th century BC, a new temple to Artemis was commissioned. 560 BC by the fabulously wealthy king Creosus of Lydia, the man credited with issuing the first proper gold coins of a set weight. Well, as the temple's fame grew, it became a valuable attraction for the Ephesians. As sightseers, and devotees of Artemis brought offerings of jewelry and money swelling the city's coffers. He also gained international recognition, offering sanctuary to those who were fleeing persecution. Legend had it that the Amazons twice sought refuge there. On 21st of July, 356 BC, the day Alexander the Great was said to have been born, the temple burned to the ground. Well, the guilty party, Herostratus, set a fire in the wooden beams of the temple, which quickly took hold and reduced the entire temple to rubble. He made no attempt to flee and was captured and tortured on the rack. He claimed he had only destroyed the temple so that his name might be immortalized and live in infamy forever. Well, the Ephesians, concerned that anyone should attempt to gain fame simply through acts of destruction or terror, not only executed the arsonist, but also issued a law preventing his name ever being mentioned. 
Well, unfortunately, there were a few loose lips from some of those involved, so the story spread, and ironically, the name of Herostratus, destroyer of one of the wonders of the ancient world, has survived, while all those of his judges have been forgotten. Hope you enjoyed this week's Beer with History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Complete opposite. Can you believe that? I know. No, that's crazy. <laughs> it's just, it's just nutty Cocoa Puffs. All right. Well, let's see here. Nature's Coastal Holiday. We're going to veer away from Halloween here and yeah. talk about Christmas for a second. Yeah, let's go They're somewhere have, else. And they got to get started early. They're doing the String the Joy yeah. for this year's Festival of Lights. This is happening on the 28th of October from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. They're meeting up at the Kids Town parking lot in Azalea Park. Grab your family, friends, and come help string the lights at Azalea Park. And only extreme weather will move the event to the following Saturday. So it looks like it's going to be rain or shy short of a storm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, what I saw last year, it's taking them a lot longer each year to put that thing up. More and more lights. Yeah, it's going to take longer each time. Absolutely. And now back to the Halloween theme. As Inotech in Crescent City is presenting a Halloween costume party happening on the 28th at 6 p.m. An epic night of great music starting out with the Italian guys at 6 to 8 and then rock until the end of the night with Cut It Like to Kings. Also, they're going to have a fantastic spooky rockin' costume contest. Right. So there you go. Yeah, you're going to get our fill of costume, costume contests. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Strut your stuff. All yeah, right. exactly. Hey, the Jedediah Smith Redwoods State Park is presenting Pumpkins, Masks, and Monster Mash happening on the 28th at 11 a.m., a daytime event. Join them at the Jedediah Smith Redwoods State Park Campground Day Use Area for a Halloween-themed edition of Experience Nature. They'll be painting little pumpkins, desk decorating masks, and dancing the Monster Mash. This event is for all ages and abilities. Family-friendly costumes are encouraged. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And it'll probably be cold anyway, so. <laughs> Bumble up. Yeah. Elk Valley Casino is presenting a cosmic bingo nightmare on Elk Street. <laughs> <laughs> I like that play. Hey, this will be happening on October 28th, 9 p.m. Experience the thrill of playing bingo under the mesmerizing glow of black lights and neon colors. Get ready for the otherworldly bingo adventure like no other. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Immerse yourself in a hauntingly beautiful atmosphere with eerie decorations, fog machines, glowing jack-o'-lanterns. It's the perfect setting for a Halloween celebration. Ticket sales to be announced at a later date. Well, they only got a couple of weeks before this happens, so mm-hmm. you might want to check there on their website. But must be 21 or older to attend. Masks may only be worn in the Betty Green Event Center and must be off at the time of arrival. Okay. So I want to know who you are behind a mask before you go in there. Makes sense for Makes sense to me, too. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, the Brookings Church of the Nazarene, located at 1600 Highway 101 on the north end of Brookings, is presenting the B Youth Mario Kart Game Day. This is going to be on the 28th of October from 4 to 6. B Youth Ministries is hosting a Mario Kart video game tournament for students in grades 6 through 12. Join a B group to practice with your team in advance or step into a team on the day of the event. Enter the competitive or the novice tournament. Both categories will offer prizes for the winning team. Invite your friends. And there is a deadline for registration. They ask you to register by October 26th, and you can do that at brookingsnaz.churchcenter.com. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you know, indoor stuff. I mean, it's his season, you know. It's, mm-hmm. well, and it's Hard to go wrong Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. <laughs> just got some video games, and you're ready to rock. There you go. <laughs> they must have a whole bunch of video thing and stuff yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Neato. Yeah, a Curry Public Library is presenting Family Movie Night. That's happening on the 29th at 7 p.m. They'll be playing the Goonies on the outdoor screen. Bring chairs or blankets to sit on, water, candy, and popcorn provided for all. And if it's raining, it'll be indoors. Good That's what they say. Know. So they're prepared. You got the yeah. backup. Plan mm-hmm. B always. Mm-hmm. And hey, the Brookings Elks Lodge is going to be hosting a kids' Halloween party. This is on the 29th of October from 1 to 3 p.m. So there's going to be snacks, games, candy, and costume prizes handed out. Costume contests, baby. Costume contests. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Another costume contest. Yes. Yeah, everybody's doing everything because this year Halloween's on Tuesday. So it's kind of off the wall. Yeah, mm-hmm. so everybody's doing everything the weekend before. I don't blame them a bit. Mm-hmm. And then Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce is presenting the Halloween trick-or-treat candy map. This is on the 31st at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Halloween candy. 
The Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce will be handing out candy. They will also be handing out a candy map leading you to local businesses. The map will be available on October 23rd. Mm-hmm. Now you can get that at the Chamber of Commerce there. There right? go, an all-day trick-or-treat event. Yeah, right yeah. below Remax there, yeah. in case you don't know where it's at. Great, great. Hey, Meals yep. on Wheels is still looking for volunteers. And they are in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can't get to the activity center for the daily meals that are served there. They have both a Harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a good opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. Whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month of service, all volunteers are welcome. They ask if you're interested to contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. Yep, uh, yep. Uh, and then the Brickings Harbor Boy Scouts of America are scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 is one of the oldest scout troops here in Oregon with a long history in the community. Troop 4032 is Brookings' first female scout troop. Founded in 2019 following the transition from the Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA, allowing girls to join and participate in scouting for the first time in history. Troop 32 and 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they're over 21 years old and they're able to pass a background check and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except on holidays. Come meet the troops and learn more about what Scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414th Azalea Park Road in Brookings. Troop 32 Scoutmaster is Mark Hagman. You can call him at 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson. You can call her at 707-951-3647. Ooh, we've whipping right out of here. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, well... Yeah, we better get going. We got the flying fickle finger faint. Better start mm-hmm. giving our goodbyes to everybody. I was just going to say, Junior's going to be a Godzilla. He's got one of them blow up oh, nice. outfits where you're inside. Mm-hmm. I was kind of wary about where he want to do it or after he got into it, but he likes to get that thing on and it looks funny as heck. I'm oh. telling you, he walks down. It, it's cool. That's it's cool. cool. That's <laughs> cute. Cool. I love yeah. it. <laughs> hey, before we go, I'd like to remind everybody please shop local, support your local businesses. Mm-hmm. And before we get going, close out the show. We, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. You can also catch the fantastic show podcast, including the Insider Report, KCIW.org. And while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out out there. there. Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.